guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Crown Genesis in St. Pete, Florida, and guess what? We have the talk of the SUV town. This is the all new, first time ever, 2021 Genesis GV80. This particular one is an entry level advanced trim. But before we get into this new luxury SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So Genesis, it's that premium brand of Hyundai. Hyundai taking a page from the playbooks of Toyota and Lexus, Nissan and Infiniti, Honda and Acura has decided to take a vehicle that was once a model in their lineup. And in 2017, they created this new brand and it's only been a few years, but boy, oh boy, are they doing some big things and upsetting really the group of vehicles and auto manufacturers that really have had a stranglehold on the luxury car and SUV segment. Now with this GV80, being all fresh, some really, really crazy design is coming to the table. Definitely has a 21st century feel, but what they are still promising, like they do on all their other models, is that high level of technology and luxury that's gonna separate you at the price point that you could find these particular vehicles for. Now, looking at the established group, the Mercedes, the BMWs, the Audis, this GV80 being a midsize SUV, is gonna bring, like I said, different engine options, different wheel options, and different trims. So let's go ahead, let's figure out, you know what, if you're not gonna go fully loaded with the Prestige, which we've already featured that one here, and I'll leave that link at the end of this video, what happens? What just happens if you decide to go in at the entry level advanced trim? So let's go ahead, get to this GV80, and find out. Right off the bat, the style. It just hits you right in the face in a really good way I love what they're doing with their headlights. So unique, so identifiable. So you're gonna have this split level headlight housing, all LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and turn signals. I really think the only vehicle company you're gonna confuse the front end of this vehicle with is Bentley. And boy oh boy, is that a really good one to confuse your, your brand with. But style, I absolutely think looks spot on. And if you look at the G80 sedan, has that same style for that redesign for 2021, just like this all new GV80. Now, as we drop down, everything is smooth. I love the color. You're gonna have functional side air curtains. Even the way this horizontal portion extends out shows that aerodynamic efficiency to channel the wind. There is just a little bit of bright, shiny chrome treatment to the lower corners. Everything else is gonna be gloss black, but it's not a ton of it, so it's not super heavy but you can see all the intricate design on this particular trim. Now, as we come across the center section, this is the biggest talking point. Pretty much the whole front end of this vehicle is grill. The more you look at it though, the more it starts to make sense. I love the crisscross design. You have the bright, shiny chrome finish to match the chrome that's in the lower corners. And if you notice, everything comes to that V-shaped design. So that overall grill is a brand identifier to the whole Genesis lineup. As you work your way down, a little bit of gloss black, same crisscross setup, especially like those air curtains. And then I like what they did with just a little bit of simple gloss black along the lower lip. They didn't do like a simulated skid plate because we all know this is not meant for off-road. This is meant for the asphalt jungle and really high luxury feel. But look at that blue just has a nice sparkle to it. When you first see this, you might say, hey, that grill's a little large, but I'm telling you, give yourself some time. It'll, it'll grow on you and it starts to make sense. Now, when you get up onto the hood, I like the way the front fascia kind of wraps up to meet the hood, super nice on the body lines. You'll see that Genesis badging there, very clean. Yes, it looks a little bit like Bentley. Yes, it looks like a, a little bit like Aston Martin, but you know what? Imitation is the greatest form of flattery. You can see that, that little V shape Everything has that overall V-shaped design where it comes to a point, just like the grill. And I love the way it has this almost U indentation, everything flowing right towards the windshield. And then the rise that you have goes right towards the A-pillars. As we come around the bend, the great news, like I mentioned earlier, you could get different engine choices and different wheel choices. Now on our advanced trim, that entry-level trim, you're not getting 22s or 20s, you're getting 19-inch wheels. I like the split spoke design, machined aluminum with some metallic gray there, tasteful uh, center caps with the Genesis badge, 265 on the width and a meaty 55 series sidewall. The great news is look at how they painted everything. 
absolutely perfect, no flat black. The other big feature I love is you have these side marker lights. Now the chrome trim matches nicely with the grill, but no fake vent, nothing that looks like it's supposed to be something uh, from Pet Boys or from AutoZone. Definitely high class, and to see this at night, it illuminates so nicely, you're, no, you're gonna know what type of vehicle it is. You're gonna know it's a Genesis product. Color mesh on the mirror caps, just a little bit of gloss black. You do have a super large chrome section that runs along that lower sill, but the great news is it follows the body line perfectly. Really nice, just with a little bit of gloss black along the bottom as that drops down. Bright, shiny metalwork on top and bottom. You do have also aluminum style roof rails that are nice and close, so that's gonna cut down on wind noise and drag. And as we drag our ways down the side of this, look at the beautiful body line. That high belt line goes all the way into the rear. Very triangular on that quarter window, especially the way they flare out the trim. Some chrome just sprinkled on the door handles. I'm glad they didn't do full chrome on the door handles. But as we get to the rear, I'm going to have Lori kind of spin it around and show you how that body line kind of flares out really, really sharp into the rear taillight housings. Love the LED, look at that signature lighting there, the GV80 badge, you got your Genesis logo across the center there. Love the font, the size, just like up front, that split level, and then as we drop down, you're gonna have just a little bit of chrome, functional exhaust, it's nice to see an actual functional exhaust. This is a decorative trim ring, but if you notice, it's the same shape as the grill. A Little bit of gloss black to kind of tie it in with the front. You got your reverse lights down below, which is gonna help illuminate the road as you're backing up, but super clean from the rear. Why don't we go ahead though? Almost forgot, I wanna zonk that windshield, that rear glass wiper. It'd be nice to have this totally clean with that low roof spoiler, but the good news is, is to open this up, they actually have the button integrated in there. But why don't we go ahead, we're not ready for cargo, let's pop the hood and see what's powering our Genesis GV80. All right guys, we got the hood popped, you do have these aluminum braces that they put to stiffen up the front end. Underneath the hood, you have two different engine options. This is gonna be your smaller engine option. So you're looking at a 2.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine, still producing 300 horsepower, 311 pound feet of torque. It is mated to the same eight speed automatic, zero to 60 in about 6.4 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 14.4 seconds at 100 miles an hour. MPGs, 21 in the city, 25 on the highway, and the vehicle weighs around 4,506 pounds. If you're not all-wheel drive, if you are all-wheel drive, you're looking at 4,850 pounds. So nice to see, like I said, the different options in engine choices. I'm very curious to see how this one is gonna drive compared to the twin turbo V6. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store for us on this GV80. All right guys, we're in this side, this 2021 Genesis GV80. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I really fell in love with that prestige trim that you brought. It was just a little bit out of my price point where I wanted to be. I'm digging this advanced trim. I can't wait to hear about the price. I've been waiting the whole video. How much is this one? Well, the way that this one is optioned, advanced trim, you're looking at MSRP of $54,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panel. So this does have the optional Lexicon sound system. So you're gonna get that premium sound system. Look at the open pour wood, the stitch work, the soft material everywhere is just phenomenal. The style, the stitching, the door pocket's a little tight. Maybe a can of Coca-Cola and two tacos from Chipotle, you're not gonna wanna put a burrito in there. You're gonna get guac all over this beautiful interior. Now, when you get to the dash, the same wonderful material, nice soft touch, the stitch work. Love the way they integrate the design philosophy into the AC vents and they carry it all the way across and then feast your eyes on that. That's 14 and a half inches of visual pleasure, smack dab right in in between your eyes. Is it a touch screen? Yes, you just had that question answered. So it's a touch screen, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, nice horizontal display, real nice to just slide the features. You can get into your seat controls, all of that easy to do adjustments can be done right through the touch screen and you can still have your navigation up. 
when it comes to the sounds of nature, I've pointed out before, when you're feeling stressed, you can listen to the sounds, just don't listen to rainy day if you have to use the restroom. I've done that before and we actually had to stop filming. And then you just go back into your navigation. So look at how easy it is to navigate through all these different features. I can adjust the volume real easily. Let me go ahead and show you reverse because that's really gonna blow your mind. So I'm gonna go into reverse. So there's your backup camera. Pretty clear, it's got trajectory, which is nice. You do have your sensory protection all the way around and you still got your navigation up. It would be nice if that screen could be a little bit larger, the amount of real estate used for the backup camera, but it is clear and you do have the trajectory and all that. I'm gonna put it back in the park and now we're gonna drop down. Easy to get to start stop button. I love the finish that they do to it to kind of blend it all in. Nice brushed aluminum look. You do have dual climate control. Look at that, a TFT digital display for your AC controls. Ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Very, very classy. This really is where it feels much more expensive in here than what that price point is. Open pour wood, open sesame on door one. You're gonna have wireless charging, two USBs, nice little cubby area in there for some breath mints. Open pour wood, open this one up. We do have our Genesis key fob. It's tasteful. They changed it up a little bit for 2021. And you do have remote start. And before we go any further, we got to look at the bridge design. So check this out. They actually have the bridge design pass through and you have enough room there easily for 10 Twinkies. Easy. You could just stack them up. Right now we just went one level to play it safe, but you could get to it nice and easy and have that little golden delicious treat as you're driving down the road. I'm not ready for my treat yet. I'm still working here. We do have our drive mode selector knob and I'll show you all about that when you come to the business side of things. Easy to get to. I love the finish on it. You have your rotary dial for your transmission. So right now we're in park by pushing that, put it in the reverse, you just twist. And no, none of this can be act accidentally activated while you're driving. So that's the good news about that. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what the heck is this thing? Is it a sundial? No, this is actually the control knob to go through your uh, infotainment, whether it be navigation, you can select things, you can zoom in, zoom out, and then you have your volume controls, all the radio controls go back to home very easily, menu button, back button. It's nice, once you're able to just play around with what you're doing here, it's very intuitive, unlike some of the other brands where it's like you gotta take a four-year college degree course to figure out how to use the infotainment. Now, this is actually semi-soft, and I like the way they have the palm rest right here. You hit the Bombay door open button, and guess what? You could put a whole box of Twinkies right inside this center console, and it's felt lined. So that's good news. You're not gonna scratch your Twinkies. And then seats, wonderful leather. I love the perforated material, the stitch work. Of course, full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. And then to top it off, you have a panoramic sunroof. So you have your sunroof for the front passengers and the people in the back. I like that split design. Kind of cool how it all closes and opens all in one shot. I got plenty of headroom in here. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom. But why don't you come over to this unique shape, uniquely shaped steering wheel. I want to show you behind the wheel of the GV80. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings, which are nice. The nice silver aluminum plate to remind you what brand you went with. You went with Genesis. You were being smart and getting such awesome style and appointments. I love all of the different adjustments to the seat, especially that lower lumbar. And even the way they bring some silver finish to it, it just looks really tasteful. Steering wheel, kind of weird, but you know what? The dark steering wheel doesn't look as bad or stand out as much, the weird design when it's the lighter, lighter leather. But I do love the 10 and two notches. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. It does remind me, somebody had put in the comment section of the last Genesis GV80, it looks like a Buick station wagon wheel from like 1985. But I do like the silver trim, the Genesis badge, the nice thumb wheels that are easy to get through. You do have electric tilting and telescoping on the steering wheel, which is wonderful. And when it comes to the dash, you're gonna have a little bit of a hybrid setup. So you have an analog speedometer and an analog fuel gauge, 
but then you do have a very large digital display where you have readouts in the center, which is nice, but you also have a digital tachometer, which actually flows counterclockwise rather than clockwise, which is a little weird. So it does take some time to get used to that. Let me show you the different modes. So right now we're in sport. You got comfort, eco, and custom. So you could tailor the vehicle exactly how you want it to be. No head up display at this trim, but if you want it, they got it. You just gotta go higher up the trim level. But why don't we check out the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy sitting in this lap of luxury at a very value price in this GV80. All right, guys, we're in the back seat of the GV80. The great news is they did a great job working some wonderful space back here and the same high level materials comes to the back seat for the, those passengers as well. So you're gonna have the nice soft material all the way around, great size on the back of the seat pockets. You could easily put a couple books in here, 20,000 leagues under the sea, tale of two cities, uh, you know, who knows, maybe even put a dictionary in there and really enlighten people, let them learn some new words. Now, when you get to the center stack, it's interesting because you do have rear AC, but there's no rear AC control. So I am gonna have to zonk that but the great news is you do have a single Twinkie tray and you do have connectivity. So we got a home power source and two USBs, like the way there's a nice cover there. I also dig the way they have the controls, those chauffeur style seat controls where I could adjust the seat myself from the back. When it comes to room, plenty of room. And of course, we have some wonderful reclining capability there and you also, of course, have that center armrest. Look at how they did the stitching. Now, it is hard as a rock, but I think one of the reasons is because of these super size cup holders that they have there. But you can flip that back. Why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area, see what we can haul, and then see how we're gonna haul the mail with the smaller engine in our GV80. All right, guys, time to get into that cargo area. We're gonna hit that button, which I do like the button, but you could easily integrate that button into the rear hatch area, but we're gonna hit that. It's gonna beep a couple times. You nice, have a nice electric assist. Now, one thing to be aware of is that that cargo loading floor is a little high. If you're pulling heavy things from the ground level, I do like the way they put this protective trim so that your, you or your kids don't just chip up this beautiful rear bumper with that beautiful blue paint. What's interesting is they actually have the Genesis logo that goes all the way across that trim, but some nice aluminum finish, great on the flat floor nice and wide and if you're wondering well joe what kind of room do we have you're basically looking at 84 cubic feet of space when you fold down all the seats and everything love the way you have a nice cargo mat in here you got a place for a box of twinkies that emergency set of twinkies this does have the ability watch this so i'm gonna kind of switch around here you might say well joe how do you put the seats down they actually have this removable cover where you have a 12 volt and then you have the buttons which have a nice silver trim to push the seats down. So you just push the button and the seats fold down. Really nice. There's your over 80 cubic feet of space. And then you can put the panel back. Very interesting the way they have a panel to cover that up. But while we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's close this up. Let's go see what on throttle feels like in our GV80. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Genesis GV80 right away is just unbelievable. I know this is not my first time driving a GV80, but it's unbelievable just what they've done at this price point with the quality of materials. Now, what I'm noticing, especially with the sunroof a little open, is there is some glare on that beautiful TFT display, but the great news is it's easy to get to. For the most part, you're not gonna have a high glare situation especially if you don't have the sunroof open, the ventilated seats, the heated seats, and that massive 14 and a half inch screen. Visibility is great in this vehicle, and it rides nice as well. They did a great job, not only with the chassis work, but also with the actual suspension itself, the shock absorbers, the control arms, the whole nine yards. They really went through to really give you a nice ride but nothing that's gonna to be too soft. Now, I think compared to the competition, you're gonna find that this is a little on the softer side, but that might be something that you want. Cabin is very quiet. Seats are absolutely stunning. They're not only good looking, 
but they're extremely comfortable. And with the two, with the smaller engine, that smaller displacement turbocharged engine, I don't know if you're really going to be hurt for horsepower because you still got 300 horsepower. But what we're going to do is we're going to make a U-turn here. I have it in sport mode. We have those different modes. I'm going to make a U-turn, and then we're going to see what on throttle is like in this Genesis GV80. And I'll leave it in automatic mode. Easy to make a U-turn. Look at that. One, two, three. On throttle. Here we go. So with it being a little smaller displacement and a four cylinder, the engine is a little noisy, but I really, not like I was saying, oh my God, this thing is so slow. I definitely need more power. The good news is if you want more power, you can get it by going with the twin turbo V6, but nice throttle response. You're not really waiting for the boost too long. The only thing that's really weird is how the tachometer goes counterclockwise. So something that you're just gonna have to get used to on this vehicle. I'm gonna put it into comfort and we're gonna see how the transmission and the engine behave. I definitely can feel lighter steering. So by going to comfort, you're getting lighter steering for sure. But I'm telling you, all of the finishes are phenomenal in this thing. Hey guys, having it in comfort mode, you're definitely getting less sensitivity to the throttle, lighter steering feel, but still everything else feels wonderful in here. Into this left-hand bend. And the steering wheel, I'm telling you, this, this horn button grows on you. It's not the sexiest steering wheel, but I think it will grow on you. I'm just curious what it feels like when we manually shift. So we're gonna use the paddles on the back of the steering wheel to uh, manually shift. Let's go ahead and see if we can do this from a dead stop here. On throttle, first gear. I'm telling you right now, I think from an acceleration standpoint, the 300 horsepower does provide quite a bit. Of course, you know, I would go twin turbo V6. That's the way I would want to have it, but you do have to spend more to go that route, but it's nice to have the choices. And even though it's the entry choice, it still is very, very adequate. So that's great news. You do have a gear indicator. It's really, really small though in the upper left-hand corner of that digital display. But I think majority of people are just going to leave the vehicle in, in regular automatic shifting mode. Well, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel of what the GV80 is all about, not only with it being new, but also with it having the 300 horsepower inline four turbocharged engine. We're gonna go ahead, get back to Crown Genesis and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another crazy day here at Crown Genesis. I definitely wanna thank Steven, Devin, the whole crew, getting us access to this beautiful blue GV80. It really shows that, you know what? You don't have to go fully loaded to get all of that excitement and definitely value for your money if you're looking for a midsize SUV and the competition should be shaking in their boots because of what this SUV is bringing to the table. But if you wanna keep seeing more of the GV80 or other new SUVs hitting the streets, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. She's out here working her butt off. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.